key is participation. And with you guys participating, this is what makes PB work. Um, so first, I want to sort of just address what is PB. And PB is the what we refer to um, participatory budgeting. Um, participatory budgeting is a process in which uh, residents of the community get together and decide how um, funds are used in their community. Um, in New York City, participatory budgeting started four years ago. Four years ago in the city, um, Melissa Markham, by four council members, uh, one of which is uh, the speaker, Melissa Markham Burrito, when she was still uh, just a council member. And since then, uh, PB has grown substantially uh, since four years ago. And now I believe almost half of the city council about 22 out of the 51 members are now participating in the PV process. And what the PV process is, um, is we are allowing community members to decide how um, $1 million of our capital um, funds that we're given uh, as discretionary funds, how $1 million um, is spent in the community. Um, and so there are many important reasons for doing PP. One of those for us is getting the community involved and getting sort of that civic nature that, uh, especially on Roosevelt Island, is very sort of prominent and getting, uh, to getting more people involved in the process of deciding how their taxpayer dollars are essentially spent. Um, and we also want to encourage democracy, participation, and actually instead of just before, when it was just one count, when the one council member making decisions how that money is spent, giving it back to the community to decide how that money is spent. Um, so, with the PB process, there are sort of I would say three essential phases to PB. Um, the first phase is the idea gathering, and that's the phase we're in right now. And um, that phase. Um, is going to continue until about the middle of to the end of November, where we're going to be actively uh, having neighborhood assemblies like this all over our district, as well as accepting um, ideas online or via email. And so if you guys come up with an idea um, after today that you would still like to have considered, uh, feel free to email it to us at uh, Ben, uh, pb at bencalos.com or go to our website bencalos.com slash pb um, and so that so gathering ideas is the first phase the second phase is um, where uh, community members from these meetings are going to want to get more involved and become pb delegates and those delegates are the ones that will actually be deciding um, will be sort of prioritizing and sort of uh, be the ones who decide on what the actual items for the ballot are. And then in the last phase is the voting phase. Well, actually, let me go back to the delegates phase. With the delegates phase, we actually want to encourage uh, everyone who uh, wants to, to become PB delegates. It's a little bit more responsibility um, because you're going to be having to give a little bit more time there's going to be a lot of working with each other to, uh, to clarify and to define which of those items on the ballot will be. Um, with, so the third phase is the actual voting. And so with, through the PB delegate process, they're going to come up with a ballot. The ballots you see in front of you are our ballots from last year. Um, last year we had a shortened phase. This is the first year that we're doing the full, complete phase of PB. Last year we just had the voting phase. This year we're having all three. Um, and the delegates will be the ones deciding on what these ballots are and what the voting items are. And you'll be given um, five votes to vote for your top five choices. We're then going to be working, um, our office and the city council uh, are going to be working together to tally those numbers. And then from those numbers, we're going to be funding as many projects as we can down up to a million dollars. And sometimes, if we can, we'll negotiate a little bit more than a million dollars. Um, and so if, so if the first 
we're going to fund the first one, and then if there's enough money, we're going to fund the second one, uh, the second top vote getter, and if there's enough money, vote for the third top vote getter, and go down that way as much as we can. And so that voting phase is going to be for a week. One of the things we're most excited about this process is uh, the voting. And with the voting, we are using sort of progressive rules, um, which we're going to be allowing anyone who is over the age of 16 and can prove that they live in our district will be eligible to vote. So even if you're not a citizen, you are still can be a part of this entire process of PD. Um, even if you are still not 18, you can still be involved. And actually, PB delegates only have to be 14 years old. Um, and this is part of our effort and the city's effort to get um, younger kids involved in government, in community. Um, and we're actually working with several high school students right now to promote doing uh, teen-only neighborhood assemblies. Um, but that's one of the many things that we're working on. So why are we here today? Today um, is our PB uh, Neighborhood Assembly. And in our Neighborhood Assemblies, we are introducing people to the concept of PB and how they can be involved in that process. And then uh, that's the first part of the meeting. And then in the second part of the meeting, we're actually going to be breaking up into groups. Today we're going to be breaking up into three different groups to sort of brainstorm ideas of uh, different projects. And these are capital projects. And capital projects are um, sort of brick and mortar, is the way that I like to describe it. When you build something, you buy something. Um, and these brick and mortar projects have to be, um, the cost, over $35,000. And their lifespan needs to be more than five years. And so all these projects need to sort of uh, align in those qualifications. If you have an idea right now, that um, doesn't fit that criteria exactly, still give us the idea. We don't want to shun away any ideas right now. We want to get that brainstorming happening, and then um, the PB delegates uh, will be the ones who filter those down into actual action items. Um, and so that's what we're going to be doing now in a little bit. We definitely want to give um, opportunity for any questions. Um, and then also, did I leave anything out? I got most of it. All right, cool. Yeah, there's a lot when explaining the PB, um, and so I'm kind of able to get most of it. Um, yeah. So, just sort of some ideas of what PB um, will look like. Um, PB projects um, could be putting away a certain amount of money to building a new school. PB projects could be installing new lighting along Main Street. PB projects can be repairing the seawall. PB projects could be taking the steam plant and turning that into a community center. These are all sort of projects that would fall under PB. I think a few of them would be a cost over a million, but um, that's something that our delegates can work on, sort of helping to define um, when they work with the city agencies to put. Uh, and it's the city agencies that actually put the number amounts on projects and are the ones that, after our delegates come up, with their slate are the ones that go through the projects and actually make sure that they fit the qualifications of a capital project. Mm -hmm. So that was a lot and I apologize. Um, but does anyone have any sort of questions about the process? Yes. Yeah, I'm looking over the list of, of uh, ideas that we presented last year. Which is giving me an idea of the sort of things that we're looking for. Yeah, and that's why we wanted to make sure that you guys had them. So you can just see sort of examples. And I'm wondering if any of these actually got funded. Yeah, so we actually were able to fund a lot of the projects on the ballot. Um, the what actually surprised us um, the most through doing PB because it's really in the hands of the community, so you never know um, what's going to happen and how people are going to vote. And actually, a large amount of people, actually, I think the top two vote getters were the bus props. And so we've worked with uh, several council members to install bus clocks and a continuation along the um, M31 and the, the, what was the, other one? the M, yeah, so there are a couple of uh, bus clock destinations and um, we are, <laughs> the city is now, now that uh, the MTA has the appropriate funds, they're now going to be working on installing 
um, those clocks. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, so I shall share it and then. This is a million dollars just for our district. Yes, and so. Out of the other yes. I've been asking people, friends in other parts of the city, and nobody seems to have heard of it. Is this the first district that's growing? Yeah, so um, four years ago was actually when uh, city council members started this process. And so um, this process has been sort of building momentum. And um, there are still a lot of districts that still don't do discretionary funding this way. We're only one out of uh, 22 council members now doing it this way. Um, yeah. So that's what you're explaining your question? Yeah. yeah. And um, if you want, we can sort of uh, let you know what other council members are doing. And so if you have neighbors who live in those districts, they can get involved as well. So I, I guess I want to, um, Matthew already asked, but so how much money was given out last year and the year before? Last year? Last year was actually closer to 1.2 million. What? Last year it was closer to 1.2 million. Uh, council members were able to fund a few more projects than we're actually Money. Yeah, exactly. And we are really taking it out of our hands as a council member's office and really putting it in to your hands to uh, decide how this money is going to be spent. Um, and you guys can have as big of a role as you want, whether it be here attending these neighborhood assemblies and giving um, ideas, um, taking a little bit more responsibility, and um, becoming a delegate and helping to. Uh, define and prioritize what those projects will be if you want to have more of that responsibility. And then finally, if you want to just vote on the ideas, you can also do that in April. Um, yeah, and so I, just to clarify again, um, it was mentioned, but the ballots on the table are from last year, and this entire um, process is to define what those items are for next year. Yes, Frank.